Welcome to this sub-module on climate change adaptation and mitigation. In this presentation, I'm going to briefly introduce the Copernicus Climate Change Service and describe the data, information and support it aims to provide to users. Climate change is defined as a change in the state of the climate that can be identified by changes in the mean and or variability of its properties and that persists for an extended period of time, whether due to natural variability or human activity. Around the globe, we are seeing evidence of a changing climate, including higher global mean temperatures, changing rainfall patterns, rising sea levels, melting glaciers and ice sheets, more frequent extreme weather events. Global average surface temperatures have risen considerably since the early 20th century. This plot shows the monthly global mean surface temperatures from 1979 to 2016, where each month from September 2015 to August 2016 has become the warmest on record for that particular month. The latest figures from the Copernicus Climate Change Service, or C3S, confirm that 2016 was the warmest year on record, warmer than 2015 by about 0.2 degrees. In fact, global average temperatures in February 2016 exceeded 14.8 degrees which is approximately 1.5 degrees higher than the pre-industrial levels from the mid-18th century. Climate change poses a direct challenge to many sectors, including the ones shown here. The situation is made more complex by the fact that many sectors are interlinked and changes in one sector may indirectly impact another. This diagram is, illustrates just a few of the many possible connections. Europe is already experiencing the impacts of climate change across these sectors and a plan is essential to ensure the resilience to climate change in the future. Climate information is relevant to long-term planning for governments, local authorities, critical national infrastructure and other non-governmental organisations. The challenge for policymakers is to understand climate change impacts and to develop effective policies to mitigate them or adapt to them. The future impact of climate change depends on the efforts made now, in part achieved by the sharing of climate knowledge and information. I will now explore a few of these sectors in more detail. Climate and the water cycle are closely linked. Amongst other things, increasing global temperatures are expected to alter oceanic and atmospheric circulation patterns, to intensify the hydrological cycle, to alter rainfall patterns and to increase the frequency and severity of extreme weather events. Over the last century, annual precipitation trends indicate that Northern Europe has become 10 to 40% wetter, while Southern Europe has become up to 20% drier. Additionally, river discharge has increased in some regions such as Eastern Europe and fallen in others such as Southern Europe. All of these changes have the potential to alter the availability and seasonality of water resources and therefore pose a direct challenge to water resource management. Water sector companies across Europe are vulnerable to the effects of climate change. A plan is essential for companies to grow and adapt to adequately serve the people and industries that rely on them. Changes in the water sector will in turn have consequences for other sectors, particularly agriculture, forestry, energy and health, which rely on a stable and sufficient water supply. C3S aims to help understand the impacts of climate change on the water sector and provide relevant data and guidance. Energy is at the core of economic and social activity in Europe. A complex interaction between energy assets and climate is made more complex by climate change. Changing climate patterns can alter the supply and demand of renewable energy sources such as wind, solar and hydroelectricity, making it difficult to maintain a supply-demand balance. The projected changes in precipitation and glacier melt with climate change could lead to a 5% increase in hydroelectricity generation in Northern Europe, whilst causing a 25% decrease in Southern Europe. Additionally, extreme weather events, which are becoming more frequent and severe, can cause damage to infrastructure, such as wind turbines and power cables, and affect electricity distribution. C3S aims to provide data and guidance to help the energy sector adapt to a changing climate and to help support the development of cost-effective, efficient energy generation. This diagram illustrates some of the ways C3S can help the energy sector, such as by monitoring snow, ice and river runoff, 
to support the planning of hydroelectric dam placement, or by monitoring weather patterns to assess the suitability of new sites for solar and wind generation. Additionally, climate forecasting allows the energy sector users to prepare for adverse conditions of extreme weather events. Climate change poses a direct challenge to agriculture in Europe. Increasing global temperatures are responsible for gradually shifting the location and extent of crop producing areas over time. For example, the gradual shift in favourable wine growing regions from southern to northern Europe. On a regional scale, climate change can shift crop growing seasons, in turn altering the ripening and flavour of the crops, and therefore the typical characteristics of the products from particular regions. Changing weather patterns can also encourage the outbreaks of pests and diseases. Additionally, extreme weather events, including storms, droughts and flooding, can cause extensive damage to crops. Climate change is likely to have the greatest impact on crops and agribusinesses that cannot adapt quickly to seasonal change. For example, woody perennial crops such as vines, olives and forests can take more than 10 years to become established and productive. For this reason, they are particularly vulnerable to climate change and long-term planning is essential to maximise yields. A long-term management plan informed by accurate climate information is essential for the entire agricultural sector to grow and adapt to climate stresses in the future. C3S aims to provide the data and guidance to help. Europe's cities are already experiencing the effects of climate change across a number of sectors, in particular the infrastructure and health sectors. Infrastructure is crucial to the functioning of a city, but could become vulnerable to climate change in a number of ways. Climate change has the potential to alter weather patterns and the frequency and severity of extreme events, which can have an exaggerated impact on built-up areas only if designed to withstand a limited amount of change. For example, prolonged or intense rainfall in an urban area can cause flash flooding, since urban materials and urban design limit how quickly rainwater can drain away. Flooding can damage infrastructure, property and disrupt transport and everyday life. Cities are also the focus of some health-related concerns, since climate impacts can be exaggerated in built-up areas. The term urban heat island describes an urban area that is significantly warmer than its surrounding rural areas, largely due to the materials used in urban construction, which absorb and store more heat and energy than natural surfaces. Higher energy use, greater heat generation and reduced ventilation also contribute to the heating effect. In turn, the urban heat island effect can exaggerate the effects of droughts and heat waves and have a negative impact on air quality and health. The World Health Organization recognises the need for revising or strengthening current health strategies in the face of increased risks from climate change. C3S aims to generate regional specific climate indicators to help understand and mitigate the impacts of climate change on Europe's cities. The Copernicus Climate Change Service, or C3S, has been designed to respond to the environmental and societal challenges associated with climate change. It is one of the six value-added Copernicus services and is operated by the ECMWF on behalf of the EZ. The service is currently still in development, but when complete will combine observations of the climate system with the latest science to develop quality-assured information about past, current and future climate. It aims to provide the data and tools to help policymakers, businesses and academics to understand and adapt to the challenges of climate change. The service will build upon and complement existing and future climate change research and will become a major contribution to the World Meteorological Organization Global Framework for Climate Services. In contrast to the existing Copernicus services, which largely provide present day monitoring, the C3S will cut across these existing services and provide a long-term forecasting service of how climate change will impact each sector in the future. C3S aims to combine expertise from across Europe to generate key indicators on climate change drivers and impacts. It aims to support European climate change policy and deliver economic value to Europe by informing policy development, improving mitigation and adaptation practices promoting the development of new services for the benefit of society. A C3S web portal has been developed to provide access to the climate data sets, project information and news. 
The main homepage displays information about the most recent C3S activities, data and news. Here you can also find information about all the C3S events and open tenders and projects. The project area is probably the most important for getting more information about the current proof of concept projects and how they can be used. On the projects page, you can find some example data sets that give an indication of the type of data that will be generated and used in C3S services in the future. When fully operational, C3S will combine in situ and satellite observations with climate models and expertise to generate a wide variety of climate change indicators for Europe, such as temperature increase and sea level rise. These indicators will in turn be used for monitoring and predicting future change and will help to support adaptation and mitigation policies across a number of sectors. This animation shows the average surface air temperature anomaly for 1979 to 2016 relative to the average for the reference period. Variations over time are largest at high latitude where surface temperatures are particularly sensitive to the level of snow and ice cover in winter. Towards the end of the animation, we can see that most regions of the world have experienced above average temperatures during recent years. The greatest warming was recorded in the Arctic with average temperatures reaching up to six degrees higher than the reference period. A climate data store, or CDS, is currently being developed which will provide access to the geophysical information needed to analyse the climate change indicators in a consistent scientific manner. Climate data is currently widely distributed and often difficult to locate. The CDS will provide a consolidated catalogue of climate data, climate monitoring facilities, climate projections and the relevant tools for processing and visualising data. So far, seven sectoral information systems, or SIS proof of concept projects, have been initiated for a number of sectors. These are currently working to test and demonstrate a number of potential services that could be developed to help users plan for the impacts of climate change. These proof of concept projects are intended to demonstrate how C3S data can be used to generate value added climate products and services. Lessons learned from these projects will provide the foundations for developing the future operational services of C3S. It is necessary to emphasise that the nature of the final operational service may differ from these present proof of concept projects. This slide lists the current proof of concept projects established for different sectors as part of C3S, along with the lead contractors. These include two water-related projects. EDGE provides an end-to-end -end demonstrator for improved decision-making in the water sector. And SWICA aims to provide data and guidance for climate impact assessments in the water sector. There are two energy-related projects. The first looks at the impact of weather-related events on energy. And the second looks into energy supply and demand balance on different timescales. AgriClass is an agricultural proof of concept project to assess the future impact of climate change on agriculture with a focus on woody perennial crops, vines, olives and beech forests. These crops are particularly vulnerable to climate change and require long-term management strategies. Urban CIS is an urban proof of concept project which aims to help mitigate the impacts of climate change on Europe's cities, including flooding, urban heat and air quality. And finally, WISC is a proof of concept project that focuses on windstorms and aims to provide valuable information to the insurance sector. Finally, an outreach strategy is planned to ensure effective and consistent communication of C3S activities to users and to promote awareness of the service. Currently, C3S can be reached via the web portal, Twitter, Instagram and SlideShare. Thank you for watching.